Hi, I wanted to share with you how I use the kitchen to cook my ROMs. If you're in Windows Vista or Windows 7, you'll need to right mouse click on the ap application. In Windows XP, uh, you don't need to. After you right mouse click, select Run as Administrator. You'll have to hit the Yes button to approve that. Now the kitchen opens. First thing you need to do is reselect the device. This fills in some information for you and it also brings up all the packages in the kitchen. Um, next thing, kind of important, select other. Change your page pool from 6 to 4 and close it. Now I use LZX compression so on the ROM that you're going to find on the website this is the one I'm using. Gives you a little more storage space. space. I have heard that it slows down either cooking the wrong or running on the phone. Personally I haven't noticed the phone running any slower so I think maybe it's the cooking process that slows down and if that's the case it just doesn't bother me because this computer is fairly fast. So we've got LZX compression selected. We've changed the page pool to 4. Um, we're ready to roll. If you want to change the ROM version here feel free. If you don't want to leave it as it is. I'm going to go ahead and click create ROM. And this process does take a little while, so I probably won't stay on here the whole time. And there you see it going along. Uh, like I say, it's a light ROM, so there's not a lot in there. So we'll give it a little bit of time. I'll be right back. Now the kitchen's almost completed. So while it's doing that, we're going to get the phone ready for flashing. Um, pick up your phone. Press and hold the power button and the camera button. Hold them both in. While holding them in, press and release the reset button using your stylus, but continue to hold the other two buttons. At this point, your phone should go into the um, tri screen mode or tri color screen mode. You should see a red, green, blue, and white barred screen. Plug your phone into the computer. On the bottom where it says serial, you should now see USB. If you're at that point, then your phone is actually ready for flashing. Okay, the Irvius kitchen has completed its job, and now we've gone to the flash utility. Let's go ahead and accept that we understand um, this will probably destroy our phone. It won't work again after this. might cause a big fire, and I believe the stock market is going to crash. But let's go ahead and try it anyways just to see what happens. And here they want to make sure you've uh, completed the prepping the phone steps that we talked about earlier. Click Next. Now it's verifying the ROM on the phone currently. Give it a moment to do that. It's also verifying it's the correct phone. Okay, now it's telling us we can update the ROM. We'll select Update. The image version here is what we didn't change up here earlier, but you could have. Select Next. Select next again. It's telling us it's going to be about 10 minutes. On this computer, it's a little faster, but not a lot faster. So I'm going to hit next, and I'll be back. Okay, now it's about done flashing the phone. On first boot, of course, you're going to do the screen alignment. You're going to set your time zone, um, things like that. After that, you will notice that the phone will boot up and want to set up your data connection on your SIM card. Um, in all my ROMs, I'm going to use the automatic data connection setup wizard. And like I say, on first boot or even second boot, if you didn't do it the first time, it'll recognize it hasn't been set up. That'll set up your data connection so you can browse the internet, grab your Gmail. Um, it sets up your MMS settings, things like that. So I would recommend using it. If you don't have a data plan, then that's your choice, of course. Um, at any rate, we're done here, and enjoy using the phone.